Yo! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Moody. Yo! For a new season! We have a new team, and I am super excited. I love JBA seasons. I love drafts in general. I love having the pure optimism of, is this team good? Yes, yes it is. And then get embodied by it and be like, I hate this team. <laughs> but yeah, JBA season five is here. So we have a new team. Um, the rules for JBA changed a little bit. So um, S tier stayed. So S tier stayed. And there is no mega evolution. So um, the way it worked was you had to draft tier one through five. And then your free picks were kind of like uh, in pairs. You had six free picks, six free picks. And so if you draft like an S tier Mon, you would have to draft a, a tier six Mon. Um, but you didn't have to draft S tier Mon. But if you wanted like a tier three, then you can go three and below. Um, and then like pair them up like that. So you could in theory have like, you could have like a two, a five, and then like almost like five, like six threes or something wild like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get into my team. I had a pretty late pick. I think I had like the third to last pick, right? Yeah, of the like first round snake order draft. So I was able to get um, another mom on like the return wheel. But yeah, so I decided to spend my first pick on Zeno, the thunderous Therian. Yes. Now, why did I decide to go Zeno? Well, I really wanted to try one of the thunderouses. I was like. You know, I, they're, they always seem like very interesting mods. I kind of wanted Incarnate, but Incarnate got right, um, picked like literally the pick right before me. So I was just like, all right, well, you know, I'll try Therian out. Like, like it would be fun. And plus, I thought it was like one of the better tier ones. Um, the way like draft works, um, it's better, one of the better tier ones that was available. But like S tier had like all the God tier picks, like, you know, like Weavile, Zygarde, Manaphy, Jirachi, like those kind of Victini. Well, tier one was uh, more so like your traditionally lower tier ones, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I decided to go for what I think is one of the better ones in uh, Thunder Serian. Now, why did I pick Thunder Serian? Well, because look at this, look at this, 145 special attack. That's really good. Uh, coupled with the fact that it is electric flying, which is a pretty awesome type. I mean, um, traditionally electrics get blown back by ground types, but. Not Thunder Zarian, because ground type moves do not affect it because it is off the ground. Um, it's got a, a pretty respectable attack stat in 105, and it also has nice speed in 101. So 101 is like kind of like a really troll speed, but <laughs> I mean, you could run like, uh, you could beat all the hundreds like that. So all the genies have like very troll speeds. Uh, it's kind of weird, but they, um, why? But besides it having kind of like really great stats, um, it has an even better move pool. So it has boosting moves like agility. So if you get one agility up, you're probably gonna outspeed like almost everything and run wild. And then it's got coverage up the wazoo. It's got crunch, dark pulse, discharge, flash cannon, uh, grass knot to beat ground types, be like the heavy heavy ground types like a pout on or something like along those lines. Hammer arm, which is kind of interesting. Knock off, great move. Nasty plot, which is like amazing. You know, times 140. Let's see what it is. All right, it's 389. Um, modest, it would be like 427. So you would have like a 800 plus special attack if you got one nasty plot up. That is insane. Not a lot of things are even living that, even if it's a resisted hit. Um, it's got access to psychic and sludge wave sludge bomb which can be Fairies, um, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and U-Turn. One of the few electric type mods to learn Volt Switch and U-Turn. I think the only other one is like Heliwisk, something like that. And um, maybe like one more other. Oh, and Top of Coco. Um, superpower, kind of cool too. But yeah, just like a lot of moves it learns. Um, really good mod. Uh, basically the general strategy behind this mod is to like get up one agility and win and like game sweep or uh try to agility nasty plot and then sweep um yeah so but like it's not a perfect mod by any means of course not but uh it's really good and it also has volt absorb so it is a nice volt switch immunity so people can't run um can't just like turn on me like crazy without potentially getting punished i just really i just really wanted to try it it's got an awesome special attack and it should be really interesting. 
So with our next, next pick, we decided to go in the S tier and we decided to get the mascot. Yes, the mascot. We vile. Yep, we vile. The, the Westchester, the we vile. So why did I get a we vile? Well, of course I had to pick the mascot. I've never used we vile before in league and I'm, well, actually I have, that's not that's not entirely true. But that season only lasts like three, three, three games or so. But I've never in a full season used we vile. Um, so we vile is just like a really like, Dope mod, so like check this out 120 attack, 125 speed. That's insane. I mean, it's got kind of trash every other set, but dark ice, like yo, that's in a phenomenal, like phenomenal, phenomenal typing. Like, most of the time with Weavile, you're gonna run knock off, uh, ice shard, which is priority physical ice move, which is insane, ice skill crash, and then either like pick your poison in terms of like what other coverage move you want to run. So you can either run rogue, low kick, or you can run aerial ace, or you can run poison jab. And all three those mon or all three of those moves are very, very valid. You either run fake out, if you want to be that guy. Um, you could run, what else, what else does this get? Night Slash, that'd be kind of, if you, you <laughs> Shadow Claw, if, so, if you're playing like, um, who do you have to be playing to quad week goes week to goes mm -hmm. trying to think that dark wouldn't cover well regardless um you could either oh x scissor x scissor would be kind of crazy too um x who would x scissor be really good against hmm. i have to think about that um but yeah and then it also learns like sword dance so you could do like focus sash sword dance knockoff ice shard ice school crash and go ham gets blown back by priority moves but i mean it's a really like it's just like a cool mod very good late game sweeper very good revenge killer and it's my fucking mascot so <laughs> why wouldn't i want to use it <laughs> it's got phenomenal speed too in 125 which i which is important to me um but yeah so moving along we have xeno and westchester so they kind of kind of get walled by steel types a little bit um kind of get walled a little bit by like a couple other type of mons, but so we have to alleviate that and we decided to go all in on the wall breaking and we decided to get Entei to God. Yes. God. The Entei. Yes. Why did I pick Entei? Because Entei is a beast. I love Entei so much. Um, I had this JBA season two and I like, man, this mon is just like, it's just fun to use. Like it is a fun mon. If you... What Entei is primarily known for is Choice Band and then Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire is a phenomenal move with base 100 attack and a 50% chance to burn. 50! That's a flip of a coin. Um, but it also gets access to the best priority or one of the best priority moves in the game in extreme speed. And it also gets like like a flurry of like kind of like random moves too. It gets, it gets, um, gets Stone Edge. And it gets, I know it gets Bulldoze. Why is it really Bulldoze? Interesting. Um, I was gonna say, bull, bull, Bulldoze isn't in the usually, it's in the usually useless moves. I, I don't necessarily agree with that, but whatever. Um, but it gets Will-O-Wisp as well, which is pretty nice. Um, what else is, oh, it gets Flare Blitz. If you're worried about running out of Sacred Fire PP because it only has eight, if you're playing like a bunch of pressure mods, it could be an issue. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Iron Head as well to beat fairies, even though most fairies will probably get blown back by Sacred Fire. Uh, it also has the ability to be ran special with 90. So if you wanted to run Power Herb Solar Beam or Sunny Day Solar Beam and be that guy, you can if you really want to. Um, you could either run like Lava Plume like overheat and they just like kind of there just like bust souls and teams and try to like get in and then get out so to speak um it i know i wanted to i know i had like a little bit of an ice weakness um because i knew like later on i was gonna get flag on so i was like you know i'm gonna get someone who could like destroy ice types kind of destroy steel types or not kind of destroy steel types and then like you know just hit hard just be like a hard decision mon this one, I, I think, like, Jim Leader Geo from the uh, GBA once, like, or he named his Entei Decisions, and that's kind of what Entei did, is. It's Decisions. Like, you get Entei in, and, like, you outspeed something, like, you got, like, my opponent's got to 
pick. Like, what is it gonna, who's gonna take a Sacred Fire to the face? But yeah, I just got Entei, just a wall break, and you know, it's a fun mon. Uh, moving along, we got three offensive mons right off the rip. Um, three kind of mons, we, like, Zeno and Entei are kind of weak to rocks, so I wanted to get a spinner and a defensive mon on this set. So I decided to go with Banks, good old Banks, the Fortress. Um, I got Banks primarily because of Rapid Spin and because of Stealth Rocks. It also gets access to Spikes and Toxic Spikes. Um, it also gets access to really cool moves like Bolt Switch. And it is slow as hell, so it is going to get the slow switch, which can be very important for um, Entei, Thunderous, and even a little later down the line with like Himanli and uh, Porygon Z. But it also gets access to pretty cool moves like Pain Split. And then, like, Explosion. <laughs> it's Sturdy Explosion. Just, why not? Uh, Dryer Ball to punish, like, faster mods. It does get access to, does it get Reflect? Yes, dual screens, kind of cool. Dual screens can be very useful for like um, a Thunderous or a Porygon Z because it can help set up. Um, it gets access to, what else? What else, what else does it get? Heavy Slam, not gonna run. <laughs> After that SSL debacle where the weights were being weird uh, calc wise, but what are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, so this mod is pretty much just to get, get hazards up, get hazards off. Um, Kind of take some hits here and there, be a switch in, you know, slow pivot out. That's really that's really why it's here. I love Banks. It's a really cool mod. Um, it does get blown back by like any fire move, <laughs> but hey, we, we we could patch it up. So after I picked Banks, I kind of wanted to get a fairy, and I kind of wanted to get a wish faster, heal beller, all that jazz. So I decided to go Togetic, Tove the Togetic. Now, why did I pick Tove? Well, I picked Tove because if it's pretty interesting moves pool set, move set. Um, it's got access to like kind of cool moves like Baton Pass, Nasty Plot, um, Defog. It gets access to Roost, and it gets access to Healing Wish. Heal, not Heal Wish, Heal Bell, and then it gets access to Wish. I was thinking of Healing Bell and Wish together, Wish. And then it's it just it gets like so many like nice support moves. It's like a very good support mon. And if you throw any violet onto it, it is fat. It is fat, fat, fat. It's already got really like fat stats with 55 HP, kind of trash. I mean, actually really trash. But 85 and 105. Couple that with an, a violet, and then you know you're boosting that 1.5 just like right off the rip. And it could just kind of sit in front of teams. And then even like Toxic Call, certain, certain mons out. It's got interesting, it also gets screens as well. Yep, it gets both screens. And then it gets like a couple, oh, Tailwind, another very excellent support move. And then access to Thunder Wave. And I know this is not Gen, uh, this is not Gen 6, so Thunder Wave isn't as crazy, but it's still Thunder Wave. And no one wants to get paired. Like, no one really wants to get paired. Because if you get if you get if you get that if you get that para hacks, and then like ah oh, man that that triggers people that kind of triggers me sometimes you're just like oh I thought I did everything right and then this thirty percent chance of yellow magic just hit me uh, but yeah Thunder Wave very good move it's just like it's just like a cool mon like it's not gonna like really do much offensively but it's gonna do a lot of support and that's kind of what I was looking for you know try to support the big the big three trio big hitters the big heavy hitters. And um, kind of just like get some utility. So moving along, we wanted to get a nice bulky water and a nice mon that can be defensive but also can be offensive. So we decided to go with another Gen 2 legend. Uh, we decided to go with Crystal the Suicune. And I know you're saying, you're like, Crystal, ah, you basic bitch. Well, I was around during Pokemon, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Crystal. I was around when that came out. I love that game. I love it. It was one of the best games ever. But one of the best Pokemon games. So I'm going to name it Crystal. <laughs> if you got a problem with that, leave a comment. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Crystal of the Sweet Good. Excellent Mon. With 100 HP, 115, 115, 85 speed, which is great for a wall. And then 90, 90 special attack, which is also phenomenal. So why did I try to get Crystal? Well, Crystal is fat, 
and Crystal does one thing very well. It can do a very effective job at the sleep talk set. So rest, sleep talk, and then you can either go roar croon and roar, roar, why can't I spell roar? Roar and uh, scald, or you could just swap that out for calm mind and try to boost it up. Oh, sleep powder, oh my God, <laughs> sleep talk, sleep talk, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can try to do something along those lines, or you can just run like a like straight up offensive set with like um, Scald, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, and then maybe like Air Slash or um, Extra Sensory, or I don't even know what else you could run. But it's like a really cool mod. It's got like interesting stats. Um, I've actually once before I've used this in like kind of like a league that lasted like four games so I got to like play with it a little bit um, but even like an assault fest four attacks I don't think it's the best set but it is definitely an interesting set if you know what I mean I kind of wanted just a fat water type of mon that could take flare blitzes because banks ain't taking a flare blitz um, a mon that could take flare blitzes and fire back and potentially win games if you just like uh, call like calm minds called like rest sleep talk sub you know just like a kind of mon that just sits in front of teams boosts up and just runs house and that's what we're doing is there for so with our next pick we wanted to get a dragon type and we kind of wanted to get a nice big one so we decided to go with flygoon the flygon um why do we go with flygon well we had a little bit of a uh so we went to, there was either Flagon, Dragalgi, and or Noivern in tier three. And I was looking at all three and I was like, who do I want? Um, I was very heavily debating it in my head. I was like, hmm, well, Noivern, very fast, hits kind of hard, could be a good Zemon user. And um, also it's just like, it's, I, I just love Fly, I just love Noivern. Um, while Dragalgi is a nice poison type, Mon that I've never used, a dragon type, and um, gets access to like pretty cool things like toxic spikes and a couple other type of moves. Um, it could hit really hard too. But I decided to go Flygon because Flygon has phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal typing in Brown Dragon. I know you're thinking you're like, well, every HP ice blows back, like, like Ground Dragon. How is that a phenomenal type? Well, Dragon, dragon resists a lot, and so does Ground. And then, also, its stats are really, really solid. It's got base 80 attack, and it's got base, one, or not base 80 attack, base 100 attack, and then 80 um, across the board. Pause recording, five, four, three, two, one. Start recording in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright. Sorry for the awkward break there, guys. Um, it's got base E, HP, defense, special attack, and special defense with 100 speed and 100 attack. 100 speed is a nice threshold to hit. 100 attack, while mediocre, is serviceable. And then it gets nice in Gen 7, it got a nice boosting move in Dragon Dance. Now, even though it's base 100 attack, some of these dragon moves like Outrage. Whoops. Outrage, whoops, <laughs> not fake out. Outrage, and then like Earthquake. They're still really gonna hit hard because they are stab moves and they are just hard hitting moves. Well, besides that, Flagon also gets some pretty interesting defensive moves in Defog. Um, what is also does it get? I know it gets, oh, it gets Roost, it gets U Turn. And you could run like you could run some like real troll shit like this, um, and then like invest heavily in defense. You could even run it like in like I don't necessarily suggest this, and I don't think I might do this, but it's definitely an option. You could run like a special set with Draco Meteor, Bug Buzz, like Earth Power, and Flamethrower. That could be cool. And then run like a Trace Effect set, and then you know try to go try to go ham on these mons. Um, yeah, that, like, it's viable, like, it, you know, it's base 80, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's just like one of these mods that has this like average stats across the board, but can be like customized to what you want to do. Um, it is definitely answered to like a lot of flare blitz type mods because of the quad resist and the reliable recovery with roost. It can come in on a lot of flare blitzes and you know fire back with an earthquake. Fly God always mod what I kind of wanted to try, and I'm kind of excited to use it. Hope I don't end up hitting it. <laughs> so next we have our Musharna. Musharna like 12, yes. Uh, if you've been wa if you watched my SSL videos, you know I had Musharna. I uh, Musharna I got for tier five. It is a pretty good tier five mod uh, with base 116 HP, um, 85 defense and 95 special defense, and it has a nice typing in just being pure psychic with synchronized as well. So if you want to talk to me, you're gonna get toxic too. But um, I'm not gonna lie, this pick was actually gonna be a bad pick on my part because it kind of overlaps a lot with uh, Togetic. But um, with with uh, Musharna, you get like a pure Psychic type. And sometimes I might not want to bring Tove. I might just want to bring uh, like Musharna. So I don't like if, if I'm playing like a, if I'm playing with like a, a team with like a big like Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt or like the other like Thunderous Incarnate, right? So if I'm playing Thunderous Incarnate and if for whatever reason I want to bring Suicune and um, I also want to bring like Musharna because I don't want to bring like Togetic. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to justify this Musharna pick. It's not a good pick. Uh, but it does get access to some interesting moves like Baton Pass, Calm Mind, and you know, if you Calm Mind up, this special attack is already pretty solid with 107. Because that access to Healing Wish, which is really sweet. Um, Moonlight for recovery, Psychic, Side Shock, pretty standard. Rock Slide, random. Um, <laughs> Thunder Wave as well. Thunder Wave is obviously an amazing move. It gets access to Trick, um, which could be very useful if I want to like try to trick a Scarf onto Uman. Uh, Magic Coat, pretty cool move too. Access to Dual Screens and uh, Gyro Ball, which is like what this thing gets Gyro Ball. I mean Trash Attack, but so I'm never gonna probably never gonna run it. Another Heal Bell User, which is really nice. And you know, there's a Mon that's gonna sit there, maybe try to pass a Calm Mind. To like Xeno, um, maybe set up a trick room and try to like beat like a really fast team. Um, yeah, it's just there. It's it's kind of a weird pick. I might end up dropping this. I'm not gonna lie, but I do like Macharna and I do like it for the value it is. Um, yeah, pretty standard psychic poor man's Crystallia. So after Macharna. We uh, wanted to get some offense, so I decided to try to grab a fighting type. And there were a couple fighting types on the board. There was uh, Gallade, Scrafty, I think was still around. Um, and then I think a couple others were around. But, oh, Metacham, Met regular Metacham was still around. But I decided to go with Sakara-san, the Hitmon Lee. So why did I decide to go with um, Sakara-san? Well, it's got excellent abilities. And Reckless and Unburden. Unburden doubles the speed if you blow an item. And Reckless is um, 1.2 power for any sort of recoil move um, or a crash damage move. So if you run like Choice Scarf, Reckless, High Jump Kick, it is going to hurt. Because this thing got 120 attack. Um, it's got 120 attack, 110 Spadef, which is like really random. And then uh, 87 speed. Trash defense, trash HP. So this mod's pretty much going to come in like fire off hit and then have to pivot out or die <laughs> pivot out stay in or die <laughs> i don't know why um but it's got like pretty pretty cool move set with close combat bullet punch blaze kick um high jump kick knock off mock punch i think one of the only mods to get mock punch and bullet punch i guess all the hit mods kind of get that i think um raps the winner kind of cool another uh, way of getting rid of hazards i have three ways of getting rid of hazards which is pretty nice probably won't run rapid spin on this but if i have to i have to stone edge edge quick mon awesome superpower sucker punch for priority and yeah and it's it's just poison jab for fairies it just hits hard either if i want to run unburden or or just, um scarf or unburden or reckless you know, I have a lot of options there, and my opponent may not know what I want to do. It could be a good late game sweeper, and it could game could be a mid game wall breaker per se. But yeah, I I don't know. 
like I just wanted I just wanted a big big hitting fighting type um, and I think I did a good job in, in getting one in him on Lee. So with our last two picks, I know what I know I wanted Porygon Z, but uh, I had to draft a tier six and I was like, I don't know who I want. I don't know at all. And I just saw Lee I just saw this mon, Livani. And I was just like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go for Livani. Why not? And Livani will be nicknamed Bottle Service. Now, you may be like, why is it named Bottle Service? Well, if you ever get Bottle Service, <laughs> I don't know why, but I just feel like like Levani is like a bottle service Pokemon. Like Levani would come out to the Pokemon Club and be like, "Yo, bottles!" If you like got a bottle, I don't know why I think that, but <laughs> ah, I'm weird. All right, sorry guys. Uh, <laughs> but why? Why did I really get? <laughs> why did I really get Levani? Not just because of the bottle service, but I got it for the primary reason of Sticky Webs. Yes, Sticky Webs is the primary reason I got it. Um, you would run something like Focus Sash, and then you would run Focus Sash, and then like Overcoat, I guess. Focus Sash, Overcoat with Sticky Webs, and then you would get the webs up right away, and then it would probably get <laughs> broken down to its Sash, because let's be real, it's got, oh, 80, 80 and 80, that's not, bit, that's not terrible, I thought it was actually way worse. Um, but yeah, so you would run Sticky Webs, and then all your Mons, or all your opponent's Grounded Mons, are, their speed is lowered by one. Um, which can be very helpful because I have mons like Xeno, right? And Xeno is most effective after an agility and after a nasty plot. But if you have webs up, you might not have to agility. Like, you may get to... What, how am I going to say that? You may, may only have to run nasty plot if you have webs up and if you keep webs up, which is the big thing. Um, most teams do have a pretty good... Um, Defogger or Rapid Spinner, but even if I got the webs up, you were still forced to defog, or not forced, but there there is a very good chance. Yeah, you're pretty much forced to defog or Rapid Spin, and you're wasting wasting a turn of tempo. So I could take advantage of that turn of tempo and possibly set up a boosting move and then go wild. So either even if I even if like the webs don't affect any mons like on like a lowered stat basis it will still affect the mon in terms of loot or affect the other team by having them lose tempo which is very important i love playing with tempo i love playing with slow switch into wall breakers the fast switch i love a, i love momentum i just like i'm if you i've been doing this i've been doing a couple of these draft breakdowns and if you guys notice on my teams i've always tried to have Slow Volt Switchers, Baton Passers, Slow U-Turners, Fast U-Turners, Fast Volt Switchers. I always try to like, honestly, if I could have a team with Mons with like phasing moves, or uh, not phasing moves, with Volt Switch U-Turn on every single Mon, Volt Switch U-Turn, Baton Pass on every single Mon, I would do it. Totally do it. Um, but besides Sticky Webs, Livani actually has a respectable attack in 103 and respectable attack in uh, 92. And it's got interesting moves set with Knock Off. And then Leaf Blade, Bug Buzz, um, Poison Jab, kind of cool. Seed Bomb, Shadow Claw, Substitute, or, well, all Mons, you so what am I talking about? Uh, Swords Dance, it gets Swords Dance and Synthesis. That's kind of cool. And if you got, like, a Swords Dance up and then Baton Pass off stats, like, let's say I got a plus two to Weavile, the game could be over. And if I got a plus two to, like, Entei, the game could re really be over. Um... It's kind of hard to pull off the the baton pass off SD baton pass, but just because it is kind of frail, but it is definitely an option. But yeah, this mod is here to support the rest of the big brawlers and you know kind of just be a suicide lead. But moving along to our last and final pick, we picked Oopy Doopy. The Porygon Z. Shout out to Loopy Doopy. Shout out to anybody who knows what Loopy Doopy is. Um, I do want to go there for this summer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I got Loopy Doopy primarily because of this bad boy 135 special attack. That that that's a that's 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 a respectable special attack. And then it's got night speed at 90. From a move set standpoint, it gets access to stab, tri attack. Stab adaptability tri attack. So 
instead of stat moves being 1.5, they'll be times two. So that tri is gonna hit like a truck. And it gets access to really cool moves like Side Shock, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, cool, cool boosting moves like Agility, and Nasty Plot. Um, in Dairy, like a set could like be like this, like um, tri attack. Agility, Nasty Plot, Ice Beam. Um, other mo other options are Shadow Ball. You could either run Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Thunder Thunder Wave, which would be interesting. Thunder if you're playing like a Rain Team, Psychic, Psy Shock, awesome. And then uh, it does not get Focus Blast, so it's unfortunate. But what are you gonna do? Discharge, kind of nice. Dark Pools, kind of nice too. Um, and Blizzard, but wanted to be that guy. It gets Zap Cannon, right? Doesn't it get Zap Cannon? Yeah, it does. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny to run Zap Cannon, Porygon Z, and like hit 50% accuracy. Oh my god. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got Porygon Z just to, you know, hit hard and then potentially late game sweep with if I got like one agility up. But that's the team. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we have three Zemon users on the team. Um, for our three Zemon users, we picked Weavile. Um, we picked. Who did we pick? Oh, we picked Weavile. We picked. We picked um, Porygon Z, and we picked Livani. So with the Zemon rules, it was like one S to one S through two Mon gets picked, and then it's like one three through. Five get three for four gets picked, and then one five through six gets picked. Um, I just decided to go with Levani because it was either like Levani or Mashana, and I like Zemons with trash speed. Like, I don't. That's not a thing. And then um, I went Loopy Doopy just because of so much coverage it gets. Z conversion is banned, so I cannot run that. And then I went with Weavile. I could have gone Zeno, but I went with Weavile instead because I wanted. Uh, I wanted what's called. I wanted that like, if you're if like these three moves are probably gonna be run standard, but like then like poison jab or low kick. I kind of wanted the Z move for those because that might be the difference of killing a mon or not. So if I have like Z poison jab, then that's gonna that that's probably gonna take out most fairies. And um, if I have to like be a pretty heavy like steel type Z low kick. Could put a real big dent in the steel type mon and potentially lead to a full sweep but yeah I, that's why i picked that um very excited to use this team definitely not my best team but i do really think this team is better than it looks like i don't think it like it kind of looks awkward and it i to a degree i really do think this team is a little awkward and um but i I think it I think there's something there and once I start building with it I'll be able to see it a little better but I think there is something there and I think this team is pretty decent um, the competition is gonna be tough this year as always eight game schedule um, down from down two games from ten um, no rematches I love rematches so I'm kind of disappointed um, but yeah so that that's the squad hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of my JBA match JBA teams. Um, matches will go up next week. Uh, we are playing our fellow Tri-State attacker and Coach Leo, coach of the New Zealand Zoroks. Um, should be a good one. He eliminated me from playoffs, so we do want this victory. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, make sure to check out future videos of JBA action. Um, if you didn't see my league preview uh, with L5 and the commissioner, Jade Hex, make sure to check that one out. If you're hyped for more JBA action, please leave a like. If you're new, drop a sub. Please, I really appreciate it if you do. And that's about it, guys. Um, who's your favorite mon? Leave a comment. Um, my favorite mon, obviously, is Weba. <laughs> and my name is, <laughs> but you know why. Uh, my name is Moody, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.